Today is Sunday morning and I've just gone back from my morning clean. I woke up ridiculously early this morning and I go through phases of this where for a few days or so I'll wake up at like six o'clock in the morning. So this morning I think I woke up just before six and I kind of dozed after that and I think I've got up about seven o'clock and I did a few things and whatever and then I thought because normally I would go to Morrison's at 9.30 when they open, do a yellow sticker haul, pay for that when they open at 10, because it only takes me a short while to get round, and then I would go and clean straight after that and do everything in one go in the morning. But I thought, you know what, it was about quarter past eight, and I thought I might as well go over the road and start doing a clean now, because the Morrison's is over the road from where I do the cleaning. So I went out at half eight and I did an hour of cleaning, then I nipped over to Morrison's, did my little haul, came back to the business and finished the cleaning and now it's 11 o'clock and I'm home. Seems like a better use of my time than just sitting around at home because I can't go out until half past nine. So we had quite a good haul this morning actually, didn't do too badly at all. First thing I got was eggs. We have. Uh, a dozen free range here. They're free range Morrisons, which doesn't really mean it's properly free range. They were one pound eighty five. They are now fifty six p each. So there's a lot of eggs there. I have some bananas left over from I went to Sainsbury's earlier in the week, and I'm thinking about making a banana cake. I made one for my parents while I was away because my mum had these bananas that have gone really brown and they weren't being eaten but no one would throw them away so I made a banana cake but I didn't have my eggless recipe and I just went online and found a simple recipe and I made it with eggs and it was so good and my parents devoured this cake in about two days flat which normally when I'm down there they've bought cake from one of the stores they go to and it sits there and sits there and sits there and I end up eating it otherwise it'll end up in the bin. So home baking cakes work really well. So I have quite a lot of eggs in at the moment so I might treat myself to an egg made cake and do a banana cake. Uh, what else did I get? Right, I have a Swede. It was 65p down to 26p. I like these because they're a really good bulk item when I'm making casseroles and when I am... Um, like batch cooking a casserole to go into the freezer in separate uh, amounts so these are a really good addition to that what else do i have i bought um sugar snap peas i bought two of these they were one pound 39 each down to 42 pence and what else did i get and the last thing i got was green beans safer green beans these were 77p down to 46p and I got two of those. So that's a nice addition. I've got lettuce, broccoli, uh, mushrooms, uh, some runner beans and tomatoes in the fridge. So that's a nice addition to go with that so I can have some nice healthy lunches as always uh, for the next best part of the week I should think. And that's Sunday morning. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, as usual, information up there on what I would have spent if I bought full price and the savings amount that I that I made back on buying yellow stickers. I hope you found that interesting. See you later. Bye. It's Monday morning and I'm so tired. I don't know what it is with people at the moment. I was woken up about 2 o'clock in the morning by a bunch of kids outside hanging around, screaming, singing, that sort of thing. Two o'clock on a Sunday, or Monday morning, what the hell? And then I was woken up at half past four by a couple having a massive argument outside in the street somewhere. It went on for ages. And then I was woken up by half six by some other people having an argument. People are crazy. We go through phases of this where just at random times of the night or the morning, depending on how you look at it, you'll get people just rowing in the street. So what are you doing up at 4am having a row in the street? 
people are crazy. So I'm absolutely knackered today. I had a little nap yesterday afternoon. Because <laughs> I got up really, really early yesterday and did my... Started my clean at 8.30 and then went to Morrison's and then came back and finished. I was watching... I don't know what I was watching. And it was about... I think it must have been about half past four. I had my dinner and I just fell asleep for about an hour. It was really nice. I love an afternoon nap. It's it's a really got a really nice feeling to it. I don't normally do it. I used to get terrible any energy slumps and need naps in the afternoon, uh, but I don't get them anymore. So uh, I tend not to nap anymore. But I think I had such an early start. I just kind of lost the will a bit. <laughs> Anyway, so um, what else did I do yesterday? Oh, I had a good sale on Etsy. I don't sell an awful lot on Etsy anymore. That's mostly because I just don't list there anymore. It just costs an absolute fortune to sell things on Etsy now. Um, yeah, I'll show you a list there. I sold something. It was £92 all in. That was the item plus the postage that the customer had paid. And that's what it costs. The amount of fees that go on an Etsy listing is a joke. So I don't normally sell on there and I keep a selection of things that don't fit very well on my website and then sometimes I'll throw in a few more of the higher priced items just to see if anyone's buying anything because not everybody goes direct to a website. Some people like to still like to go through e-commerce um, and so I sold something. So look at all the money I lost on that. Plus, of course, there was the postage. Um... So I sold that, so that was good. That was a high price item for me. And then overnight I've sold something on eBay for my dad, so I'm going to nip over to the uh, in-post boxes again and just send that. Uh, what else do I have to do today? Mostly admin. Um, yeah, Monday is... Uh, I think Monday's going to be a slow one. It is Tuesday morning, and as seems to be the pattern at the moment, a horrible weekend of weather with lots of rain. We needed the rain, actually. My pots definitely did. Um, combined with really cold temperatures has given way to really beautiful weather. So Tuesday morning is lovely. It's sunny, blue sky, quite warm. I've been out this morning because I had to drop off a vintage parcel. And then I walked up to my nearest boots because Checkout Smart was doing a couple of freebies that I thought I'd just see if they were there. And one of them was, and it's this ready spread two pieces of sorry moot, uh, malt loaf. This little thing with two little tiny thin slices with a, a suggestion of butter on them costs one pound twenty but it's free on checkout smart until the end of today so i thought i'd get that because the weather's looking really good for the rest of the week and i think i'm probably going to go hiking again on thursday i have my next route already planned and that will make a really nice snack on my route so i thought i'd pick that up i've had the money back for that already because checkout smart process really fast what else have I done today? So this morning I planted my runner beans. They were ready to go out and I planted them in amongst the tomatoes. So we'll see how we get on with that. Um, the other one that was hanging in there and growing back after I planted the tomatoes still, still seems to be hanging in there. So I think it works. So I'm hoping that I don't come out tomorrow morning and find all my new runner beans decimated again. Um, I've put them really close to the tomatoes, so hopefully they'll be okay. Uh, lunchtime today, I have another market research survey to do. It's about an hour. It's not a face-to-face. -face. It's one where you answer questions in real time on the on the um, on the screen. So that's quite a good one. That's going to pay forty-five pounds. So that's pretty good. And I'm just going to be working on in my little business making some dresses this afternoon or starting to I've been having a good old sort out and organizing stuff I have a couple more vintage things to photograph but I'm not in any rush for those at the moment 
they'll wait. I'd rather get on and make some stuff while the weather's nice um, and while I've got the day because tomorrow I'll be out cleaning, Thursday I'll be hiking, Friday I don't know and then we, we're back to the weekend again. So that is it for now. I can't think of anything else. I meant to add, I've had my updated water bill through and I'd read that bills were going to be going up. So mine's gone up from I think it's £14.31 to £15.31. So that means that my water bill will have gone up this year by £22.71, I think it is, and I haven't used any more water. So it's something else that's going up this year. Great. Um, I can't really cut back on water. And it's not been that dry this summer, so so far anyway so at least I'm not going to have to use water from the flat to water the plants which is good because I don't want to be wasting more money that way yeah so I'm now paying I'm now going to be paying on average £15.31 per month until they review again they used to review my bill in April and October and now they just seem to come at any time so they've come in July this year I don't know whether that's a permanent change or just because they don't get round to doing it um, but I suspect that they will probably review it again probably around October time is what they normally do. So yeah, another bill's going up. Um, I think the only other bill that's likely to go up again this year and probably will will be my rent because my contract is due for in renewal in October, um, but I'm just gonna have to worry about that when it happens, so. Well, good morning. It is Wednesday. I am just heading off to do my Wednesday clean. My July YouTube figures are right down. Well, I'm assuming the figures are right down. The income is definitely right down. I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know whether it's because there has been so much other stuff for people to look at so we've had the euros 2024 we've had wimbledon i'm sure people have had other ways to entertain themselves not just youtube i think some of it is probably to do with subject matter i know that there are certain subjects which attract a lot more attention than others so I know that the hikes that I do don't attract a lot of attention now I don't do those for the money that's a whole different thing I do that to show what I'm doing I do it I do it for people who can't get out and hike for various reasons or don't live anywhere near where they could get out to hike and I know that there are YouTube videos which you can treat like podcasts so you can listen to them and you don't have to watch them and vice versa so that's kind of why I do those I do them as a just a fun addition to my channel because if I'm spending a day every week or a day every couple of weeks out on the moorlands with nature and things like that I want to share that with you now I could make shorter videos and that's fine but I've just chosen to do the whole thing and it might be useful to people who want to see the route before they hike maybe they're nervous hikers maybe they just don't know the area but I discovered that videos done in real time like that are called slow TV so when you do something you record the whole thing like a walk and then you put it up online it's called slow TV or slow television and I guess that's what it is it's not for everybody I just do it as a nice little extra thing because I enjoy doing it and I know that from some of the comments that some people really like them I read a comment there was somebody on posted up a question on I think it was Quora. He 
because they'd thought about doing a hiking channel where he recorded the whole thing. And I think he wanted to start the channel, I guess, because he wanted to make some income out of it. I'm not sure. And the responses were quite scathing. It was like, don't waste your time. No one's interested in this stuff. If I'm a hiker, the last thing I want to see is someone else doing the same hike I'm going to do. And that's fair enough, but I think that's coming from people who are hikers who don't want to be told about it in advance. But I'm really doing it for people who can't get out and hike, who don't get a chance to enjoy that kind of scenery and all that sort of thing. Um, anyway, so I know that they don't bring in much income or anything. They're quite long videos. They can be up to three hours. I try to cut them down, but if I cut out too much, then it's not the whole hike. Anyway, so I don't worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, so I had a look at my videos and not surprisingly, my top videos, I looked at my, uh, so the top page and the first three videos, which are my highest ranking videos in terms of views and still continue to get traffic are all about pensions, universal credit and politics and money, which is no surprise. They're very emotive subjects. People get very annoyed. You get people who are annoyed at the system. You get people who are annoyed at me for being a part of the system. Um, and people who are just angry at anybody who tries to take advantage of the system. And if I wanted to make a lot more money on YouTube and just bring in the clicks, bring in the likes, all that sort of thing. I could just talk about Universal Credit all the time, but I only have a limited experience of it. I'm on that migrated startup year from working tax credits, uh, which ends in August, as far as I'm aware, because I won't be eligible after that year. We'll have to see what happens there. So watch this space. There will be. There are still other videos to come. Um, I have my last, probably my last meeting on the 6th of August. I don't know whether this will come out by then. Uh, my chronolo chronology is a little bit behind at the moment. Um, so that's where the, the the biggest draws lie in terms of YouTube. But I don't want to be that channel. And I suppose after my claim ends there won't be an awful lot for me to say there are a few other things I want to talk about I want to do a review of my year on universal credit when it comes to an end I want to look at the numbers look at some of the pitfalls as it is for self-employed claimants for those in the startup year and just do a summary of it because there's still loads of people who haven't been migrated over. I think they're supposed to finish the migration at the end of this year. But as usual, things are all behind because nothing runs to plan. And of course, now we have a new government and everything could change again, who knows? So there's that. I, did, I haven't been doing my monthly money reviews. I've recently done a six month review for 2024. So I'm just going to carry on as I am and assume that this month might be a bit of a blip. I've, I, I did have one month that was really high with no real explanation. But it's a reminder that you can't rely on these things for income. Um, and you just need to be aware that things can change really fast. You know, it might not even be a viewer or a video issue, it might be an algorithm issue. If YouTube's been playing around with um, the algorithms and playing around with the analytics, you know, who knows, maybe that's the reason. It's very hard to tell with these things because these sites aren't in your control. It's down to how they want to change things. So, I'm just going to carry on as I am really, um, yeah I think that's uh, I think that's all I can do at the moment. 
I will probably do some more end of month money roundups, but I think the end of universal credit one will be interesting. I've started to put, put together a spreadsheet that encompasses the whole year, and looking at the numbers is quite interesting. And looking at, based on the numbers, what universal credit, what the DWP, the DWP actually understand about um, you know, claimants about what's involved. So, I'm here to do my clean. Arrived early as ever. Prefer to arrive early. I am going to go to Tesco's afterwards. I'm going to use some of these um, gift cards that I've got left over from surveys I did earlier in the year. I've added up the amount and I've got £8.75 to spend. There are one or two discounts on some of the cashback apps that I can use at Tesco, which means I'll cash back in some of the gift cards into cash into my bank account. So I'm going to go and have a look and see what there is. And there's a couple of things that I need, stroke want, which I'm going to buy there because then they're free. Because I bought them on gift cards. So I'm going to do that afterwards. It's really warm today. The sun's gone and there's a little bit of a breeze, but it's really, really close. And it gets quite hot in, in the house, so I need to get all the windows open when I get there. Hiking again tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's that. Speak to you later. Right, I've finished my clean and I've just been to Tesco's. So I bought three things and spent a total of £4.28. I had some Tesco gift cards left, so I bought everything on gift cards. And two of the things I bought came with cash back. So there was another of these little malt loaf things. Tesco were doing these as well. That was uh, £1.30 in Tesco, and I've got all of that back. And then there was also this um, Arctic coffee. It's the mocha version. That was £2.20, and I think it was for a pound. So I've made some money back on that. Um, I also bought some bananas, and... Yeah, so I will get uh, one thirty two pounds. I'll get some money back. I'll put the details up there. My brain doesn't do maths, and so that is my so that more snacks for hiking, which is good. The coffee was a bit of a naughty treat that I wouldn't normally have, and that's it. I am now going to head home. So at the end of today's clean, I was sent back down the cellar. Um, <laughs> yeah, back down the cellar I went. And, and we've come to an agreement that I'll spend the last 20 minutes of each week just going down and sorting out a corner because there's so much down there and it's just such a mess it's just stuff just been lobbed down there over the years and it's just all over the place so she asked me to go down today to look for something specific but she doesn't know what else is down there that she wants so she's having me take away all the glassware now I can sell sets of glassware on Vinted. I've sold a couple of sets already. But there are lots of odd glasses, so I'm just going to take the sets and sell those on Vinted. It's like a quid for a set. There is nothing of any value down there whatsoever. And then all the odd ones will probably just get thrown into the glass recycling. 
and then we're just going to go through each a small section each week and I'll just have a clear out because most of it is just rubbish there's lots of old paint pots and paint brushes and stuff like that most of it's probably been down there for donkey's years one thing she did tell me to take was a bottle of Harvey's Bristol cream I don't know what the expiry date is on that stuff but it's an unopened, still sealed, wax sealed bottle. They have no dates on them, so she doesn't even remember it going down there. So God knows which Christmas that came from. So yeah, I don't know how old it is. Um, I don't drink the stuff, but my mum does. So I'm going to ask her how old she thinks the bottle has to be before it's no good. And I'll just take it down there. They don't like it. They don't know where it's come from. I don't like it. But I'd still rather give it to someone who it might be good for and it turns out to be drinkable. So I shall take it down to my mum next time I go down there because she's a bit of a sherry fan. And uh, we'll see if it's drinkable. We shall find out. Yeah, we got through the lights. So yeah, I mean I usually end up having about 20 minutes left at the end of a clean, a normal clean day when I go down there anyway. So if I can use it doing something that she wants done, because ever since I've started she's been going on and on about getting this cellar cleared. And I've never been down there until about four weeks ago. And there's just so much, and most of it just needs to go in the bin. They've got a, a, a big tumble dryer down there which no one can get down to use because no one can walk properly anymore. Um, but it's too big to go into the main house. So I don't know whether it could be utilised again. I don't know. It looks like it's in good working condition. Anyway. It's useful for her and she just wants stuff gone so if I can make a couple of quid out of glassware I don't think there's anything else of any value down there um, but there might be a few things down there which are sentimental or well not even sentimental just useful I've already pulled up a uh, there's a heat mat still in its box down there which works so she's got that We'll see. It satisfies my need to root around junk. Like going to a car boot. It really is like going to a car boot. Anyway. I had a call today from the GP surgery about my blood test results at last. So I put in a request by uh, through their online form, uh, when was it? Beginning of the week? Monday, yes, it was Monday, today's Thursday. Uh, because I'd had the tests done on the 18th of June and I hadn't heard anything yet. I'd had that cholesterol levels um, come through a couple of weeks after I had the test, which said that my cholesterol levels were slightly elevated, and I already knew about that, so I didn't realise whether that was that was it that was all I was going to find out whether there was more which is why I messaged them so I had a call today and he basically ran through all the numbers um, he said that my um, inflammation levels are absolutely fine so apparently there are two markers that they use to check the first one is called the CRM that's the one that will show anything that's a cause for concern that might indicate something serious he said mine was well within the normal levels the other um, number and I can't remember exactly I think it was I think it's called uh, an ERM or an ECM something like that and he said that normally the normal ranges are up to 12 and mine was 13 but he said um, that's not a cause for concern he said they wouldn't start to worry about that until it reached something like 30 and that's when they might reinvestigate now I googled this afterwards just to get some clarification on that 
and um, with that second number, he said that it, it said that in women that inflammation marker number tends to be higher naturally and it will increase as you age. So given my age and obviously that I'm a woman, it may well be that those are just my natural levels anyway and that that may have increased as I've got older. Uh, he went through everything else, you know, he talked about my liver function and kidneys and salt levels and um, sugar levels and everything else and he said there's nothing wrong with you. We did talk about the cholesterol level and um, I did say that I was adjusting my diet, trying to get, get more exercise and I mentioned about the hiking and everything which he found amusing for whatever reason. <laughs> the fact that I mentioned, oh I'm hiking, maybe. <laughs> but um, he meant it in a nice way, he wasn't, he wasn't, you know, being silly about it. Um, and I did say that, yeah, I, I know I need to lose a fair amount of weight. And he said, you know, you only need to bring your BMI down three points and you're back within safety levels. Now, I don't know how much weight that equates to three points, but I know that I need to put the work in. So I said, you know, I'm cutting out the processed food. I'm, I'm doing this new exercise because he'd asked me what I do for a job and where I work. And I you know, said so basically I work from home and I'm pretty sedentary, which kind of explains it all. So that was the only thing that we really discussed as something that needed addressing. But those cholesterol levels for me are, they're minute, they're borderline at the moment. They don't need any treatment or anything and I probably would rather go down the, um, the health route rather than medication. I'm not into medication, especially for something that I've inflicted on myself. All I need to do is to eat less and exercise more and I should sort the problem out. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm really relieved about that. It was really interesting finding out, getting an explanation for the numbers and how the numbers work and what they mean. Um, yeah, so he just explained all the numbers and what they meant and what they look at and what they look for. And yeah, fine. Good stuff. Okay, so... That's one thing off my tick list. Um, didn't get to do my hike today. Well, I kind of did a hike. I went up to do the hike that I wanted to do and I got up just into the Yorkshire Dales and the weather just changed on a dime. You could barely see your hand in front of your face. It was sideways winds. It wasn't any point in doing it. I wouldn't have been able to see any of the scenery, any of the things I wanted to see and I would have been battling against wind and mist that was like sideways rain. So I gave up and I came back via part of a route that I did last time and didn't get to reach my destination because I would got lost, done too many miles and I was knackered. So watch out for my next hiking video which, uh, or it might already be out, it's called Dowry Reservoir. Look for that one and that will explain everything. It's not as long as the others because um, I didn't do as long a section. However, Monday and Tuesday weather looks great. So I think I'm going to go on Monday and tackle that route again. And hopefully we'll, we'll get our next five miles on the Pennine, on the Pennine Way. It's Sunday morning. I got woken up at 4.30 this morning by my neighbours having very noisy sex in the bedroom below mine. They've just come back from holiday abroad. They got back yesterday afternoon. And then at 4.30 in the morning, they're doing that. It's like, really? Really? So I don't know if he's moved in, because he seems to have been here for about three weeks now. Although one week they've been away. Anyway, so I'm knackered. I couldn't really get back to sleep again after that. It's too distracting. Um, so I think it'll be an early night for me. I'm planning to be up and out early to do my next hike. I'm doing it on Monday, because the weather's holding. Um, and it's carrying on from the one that I did last week which was the failed hike so this is the one and the weather looks really good anyway so Sunday I've done my clean 
and I've been to Morrison's and I've got a few things. Not a lot in. I'm running quite short on a lot of stuff. Um, but I have stores in the freezer, so hardly going to starve to death, am I? Right, so we have yoghurt. haven't had yoghurt in ages. These are Lancashire Farm yoghurt. They're a live set natural yoghurt, so they're probably a good one. Uh, these were £1.10 down to 66p, so I bought two. I like a bit of yoghurt. I bought a uh, Morrison's Peri Peri Mayo. This was £1.25 down to 32p because the flip top has come off the cap. It's still sealed, so it's okay. So that'll go in the stores. I know these are bad and I'm not supposed to be eating these anymore because they're absolutely jam-packed with rubbish. But these are nice to have in the stores for emergencies. Like, I just want something with a bit more flavour. I just want something that's a bit different. I want to put a squeeze of it into like a stir fry or something just to jazz it up a bit. The other thing I got, which I never ever buy, is fizzy drinks. So this was free on the Checkout Smart app. Um, so with Checkout Smart, it's one of the ones that you have to accrue the money and then you cash out when you get to a certain point. So this was £1.60 and they were doing it for free. I'm almost at the cash out, li cash out limit, which is £20, because I've had a few things off them lately. You get nothing for ages and ages and ages and then something turns up. So I'm going to hang on to this as a, this is quite nice, you know, you can put a splash of gin in it or I could take it on a hike just to give me an added something extra while I'm hiking on a hot day. Um, so that's quite good. Uh, one of the other cashback apps, Shopmium, has changed the way it gives you money. So it used to just give you the money when it had been processed and approved and you get the cash turn up on your PayPal. Now you have to reach a cash out limit, which is really irritating because Shopium isn't very good. It takes me ages to find anything. So I think it's gonna take me ages and ages to accrue the limit. I think the limit is 10 pounds on Shopium now. Um, I mean, so theoretically I've got the money back, but I have to wait a while for it. But it's not an enormous amount of money. But that's something that you need to watch for. I don't think Green Genie has gone over to that way of working yet. Uh, but so the, the other two that I use, Checkout Smart and Shopmium, both have cash out limits now, which is a real pain in the backside, really. Um, right, I also got more gr Savers Green Beans. I've got two of those. These were 77p down to 56p. And the other thing I got, which I wasn't going to buy, and then I thought, you know what, I will, is pears. This is a big bag of, uh, of pears. There's a lot in there. These were £2.29 down to £1.72, which is quite a lot for me, but I think I'm going to make a pear pie. I made a crumble yesterday out of my last jar of bottled blackberries from last year because blackberry season is almost here so I'm going to be able to refill the stocks um, and I used a couple of um, jars of bottled pears from last year because I have quite a lot of pears in. I'm going to keep these out and eat them, they're right ready to eat and I'm going to make a, um, a pear pie because why not. I have some of that ready roll pastry in the freezer it's been there quite a while, I've got quite a lot of it, and while it's there I might as well use it, so it's quick and easy then to make a pie instead of having to do pastry from scratch. So that's everything, this came to £6.08, and I shall put up there as usual how much I've saved on the yellow stickers, and of course I've got to knock that £1.60 off for that freebie. Uh, so that is Sunday done. Um, I sold something on Vinted overnight, so I took that over first thing as well. It was something I didn't want to sell, but I had to because it doesn't fit me and it's never going to fit me again. And when I saw that someone had bought it, I had a little moment of panic and thought, shall I cancel the order? I want to keep this. And then I thought, I haven't worn this in ages. I'm never going to wear it. It has to go. So it's gone. <laughs> I made a few quid out of it, so um, yeah, so that's one less thing in in my cupboards and on my shelves. It was a, a hoodie that I bought uh, a few years ago, 
and I've hardly worn it because I bought the wrong size. I bought a size that was too small for me. I hadn't realised when I purchased that I hadn't specified the size and I just ended up with the smallest size. It's a few years ago, it just about fitted me. I could just about get away with it, but things have all gone to rack and ruin since then. So uh, there ain't no way I'm going to get into that again. So it's gone, dealt with. Um, that's that. So that's Sunday. The weather has really turned warm. It's going to be quite warm tomorrow. It's getting warmer every day, but if I go early, so if I get an early night tonight, get up at 7, if I can be out the door before 8, I should be able to get out there before the weather peaks. Um, it's not going to be a ridiculously long hike. There's no prospect for me getting lost because it's a very direct path to route. But there's some interesting things to see along the way. So that'll be fun. Um, and that'll start off my week very nicely. Excellent. Speak to you soon. Bye.